February 1868. Orders came from the Shogun for the Shinsengumi to march to Kofu, and in order to detract any unwanted attention, they became the Koyo Regulatory Company. Once word of the new order spread throughout the group's ranks, the entire compounds erupted in chaos as every able-bodied soldier scrambled to prepare. Yukimura, staff has been completed. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. As a show of support, the shogunate outfitted the Shinsengumi with a slew of rifles, cannons, and most notably, westernized uniforms. It was an unexpected change. I barely recognize any of the Shinsukumi men in their new attire. <laughs> Up to Kofu we go fucking again. For myself, however, I had been ordered to remain in Edo, which was understandable if not discouraging. Oh, okay. Never mind, we're not going to Kofu. Even so, Edo was an unsafe place for a young woman. What with the furry corpse on the prowl? So it had been decided that I would await their return in Iba's custody within his humble abode. Mm. When we were children, it was Iba who had often visited us, not the other way around. Doi, what was that smirk? What is with that smirk? Hijikata! Um, what do you mean by that? Tsuiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
だとよ、雪村。気兼ねする必要もなさそうだし、ちょうどいいじゃねえか。I sincerely appreciate your generous hospitality. こちらこそ、よろしくお願いします。Iba flashed his genial smile and turned over to Hijikata san before addressing him directly. Tosa, そうですか本当ならあなた方だけに戦わせるのではなく幕臣の我々が率先して藩を示すべきなのでしょうねそれなのに何言ってやがるお前ら旗本の役目は将軍を守ることだろうがそれ暴れる機会はすぐ来るさ俺たちが作ってやるよはい信じていますそんじゃ雪村のことをよろしく頼んだぜ I am not a troublemaker trouble finds me 一方の存在が出てきて私は気持ちが気持ちが Before rushing out of the mansion without another word. Immediately following Hijikata san's departure, Iba kept his head pointed towards the floor, sinking into an inexplicably foul mood. Nah, Iba, Genki o daseo. Tashkani, Iba no Bakfu no Yarikata niwa, or that then, not to go to the night. あの土方さんがああ言ってたんだ。俺たちが幕臣らしく戦える機会はすぐ来るさ。はい。わかっています。However, Motoyama's optimism was unreciprocated by Iba, who had his own matters to worry about. I expected it'd go beyond the shogun its faulty method of leadership. Or the Bakushin's reluctance to participate in a war with insurmountable odds of victory. There is no turning back, and the life he lived as a human world, as human, would cease. For you cannot interfere with human history. Princess Sen's stern warning from those distant months gone by immediately sprang to mind, and I was sure that they hadn't escaped Iba either. Which means that. Even if the Bakushin were to change their minds, Eva would be forced to observe from the shadows, forbidden from entering the fray. I carefully chose how I wanted to respond. Um, Eva? Since I have to remain in your care for some time, I would be more than happy to help with chores around the house, or prepare you dinner whenever you'd like. All you have to do is ask. Hey! よかったじゃないか、イバ。雪村さんの手料理だって。え、あの。<笑> are there any preferences you have for dinner? Don't hesitate to let me know. Don't hesitate to let me know. いえ、あなたは客人ですし、そんなことをさせるわけには。なんだよ、遠慮しなくてもいいのに。誰にも邪魔されず、新婚気分を味わういい機会じゃないか。ハーダン、マトヤマ、ウォーズザン、ハリムン、ハーダン、ファック。He's a wingman.He's a wingman, much like Otori.Holy shit. ハリムンモトヤマ、何を言ってるんですか彼女が僕のお嫁さんに、なんて。僕はまだ修行中の身ですよ。ああ、besides, I'd never be good enough for Eva。つまりどっちも自分なんかじゃ相手に釣り合わないって言ってるわけだ。He's a goddamn wingman! 
Motoyama knows what the fuck is going on. もう心が通い合ってるってことか。仲が良くて羨ましいよ。<笑>そんじゃ、お邪魔虫はそろそろ退散するかな。モトヤマ。I sought desperately to clear the air before Motoyama had a chance to escape, especially before Ibo took his sentiments to heart, but. With a gleeful smile, Motoyama pranced out of the room. He fucking pranced out of the room, are you kidding? Iba and I were left alone, letting the bouncing echoes of the past conversation fill the room's vast empty space. What he said? Eva's ins <laughs> incensed politeness was only exacerbating the tension hovering between us, and I continued to blush. Yes, I understand quite well. It reached the point that I would have rather buried my head underground than meet Eva's line of sight. To be honest, I'm not going to be able to get you out of here. Iba fumbling stepped around me, and I took a deep breath before following him into a wide, grand hallway. Whoa. After unpacking my things, the two of us ate suffered, supper together in silence in the dining hall, before going our separate ways to rest in our respective bedrooms. I found it impossible to sleep, as my attention was drawn to the room's extravagant decor, which was far nicer than any accommodations I'd ever slept in. I wondered if Eva was having any difficulty sleeping. As I rolled over, bundling myself in the futon satin sheets, I couldn't help but think about him. Considering what I had known about Furies, traveling in sunlight would have been an a, a strenuous ordeal for Eva. But judging how ad ad adeptly he'd done so during our trip to my home on the outskirts of Edo, one wouldn't be able to notice any significant changes in his stamina. It was a testament to his will, proving that he was ever full of surprises. However, just like I had seen in the members of the Shinsengumi's own Fury Corpse, the signs of bloodlust were, were gradually encroaching, encroaching, and it was only a matter of time until they worsened. I had to do something, anything, before it was too late. Although no immediate solutions came to mind, I shut my eyes tightly and suddenly it was dawn. Good morning. Hope you don't mind, but I prepared some breakfast for you. Allow me to arrange the table for you. Shake what Motoyama had said yesterday. That, in staying here together, it was as if Iba and I were enjoying the pleasures of a honeymoon. Ooh, fish! Really? I can't tell you how much that means to me. Iba whipped the side of wiped whipped <laughs> wiped the side of his mouth with a cloth, and I posed him a question. I gathered our, as I gathered our plates. Eva, I know it's difficult to admit, but doesn't walking around in sunlight hurt you? Don't you feel weaker at all? Well, 
Then, from now on, allow me to manage all of your... All of your what? Minutai? Minu... M minu... Mi <laughs> Minutai? Minutai? Welcome... I don't know. Well, including the welcoming of guests and posts. It is of the utmost importance that you feel well. So, I want you to get all of the rest you can. I want you to get all of the rest that you can. Mmm, of course. It's the least we can do and fit in return for you keeping me safe in your home. Hold on, I gotta write something down. March. Days floated blissfully in the blink of an eye, and one evening, Motoyama came to pay us a visit. Yeah! It was delicious! Oh, please. You flatter me too much. いや、すごく美味しかったって。でも、これからどうするんだよ、イバ。あんなに美味しいものを毎日食べたら、他の女の子の手料理なんてもう食べられないだろう。おまいか。He <笑> この後パーッと飲みに出かけることにしようぜ。Oh <laughs> threw his armor on Iba's shoulders, egging him in on despite Iba's visible unwillingness. All of us went quiet as, as one of Iba's servants called out to him nervously, poking his head out from behind a door left slightly ajar. どうしました? Upon Iba's command, the servant hastily slid the door open, tiptoeing inside the room to hand Iba the letter. Motoyama and I were silent, watching the servant bow politely before scurrying out of the room. Iba delicately opened the letter's wax seal taking a deep breath before scanning its contents. As his eyes traveled down the page, Iba furrowed his brow and Motoyama and I glanced at one another. Without saying a word, Iba shut his eyes and extended the letter over to Motoyama. The room was silent, save for the parchment wriggling in Motomaya Motoyama's hands. Before Motoyama finished reading, however, Iba shot up from his chair and stormed out of the room indignantly. Iba, wait! Whatever was in that letter had clearly unsettled Iba, and I couldn't help but feel nauseous from anxiety. I threw my handkerchief on the table and ran after him. Even while walking a few paces behind him, I could feel the seething rage emanating from Iba. Iba! What did the letter say? Iba suddenly halted in his tracks, turning over his shoulder to glare at me with a grave expression. I held my breath as I awaited his response. <laughs> What? The Shinsengumi was crushed? Bakumeo so, 
Gaber resumed his brisk pace, and I followed after him. Eventually, I realized he had led me to the Hatsumoto mansion where the Shinsengumi had recently resided. To our dismay, the halls were eerily silent. Neither San and San, Hesuke, nor the rest of the Fury Corps were anywhere to be found. <laughs> Iba clamored out in fervor, gritting his teeth as he tightly balled his hands with the fists. The tips of his fingernails dug into his palms so intensely that I was certain he'd break the skin. His voice reverberated throughout the empty halls, and I flinched from the shrill hiss of his sword as he pulled it from his sheath. Iba began swinging his sword wildly, as if he were attacking an imaginary foe breathed into life by the, by the ache of his frustrations. It was as though he were possessed by something. I gasped from fear, barely able to draw breath. Part of me wondered, though, why he had taken it so personally, why he was lashing out himself. Eva seemed bent on letting his aggression consume him, ready to burn himself from the inside out. <laughs> then he took a minute to catch his breath, his shoulders moving up and down in exaggerated movements as he lowered his weapon. Uh, why are you so upset? I asked him a question timidly. And though pant and through panted breaths, he coldly offered his response. Shinsengumi,は、新政府に勝つことを期待されて、幸福に生かされたわけではないんです。So what were they sent for then? Bakufu's教授派は彼らをわざと江戸から遠ざけたんです。<laughs> Though it was news to me, apparently Iba had known for some time that Edo Castle was guaranteed to her enemies, meaning that the Shinsengumi was misled. Upon hearing the news, I was positive that Iba was keen keenly aware of what the Imperial Army ultimately hoped to gain from this detestable arrangement. これが、これが、徳川の家臣のすることか! It was clear that Ibo was severely distraught, and I was unaware he could ever become this angry. Finally, he heaved one last breath before shutting his eyes and muttering softly. I wondered if Iba had never fused the demon's arms to his body, then would he have been able to make a difference? You cannot interfere with human history. You cannot interfere with human conflict. Sun's words echoed in my brain like a bell. If he hadn't agreed to these conditions, then perhaps he could have fought alongside all of his dear friends. Surely, I thought, his desire to do so lingers. Comforting Iba in his wounded state was difficult, so... I carefully deliberated what to tell him. 
Things aren't as they were. Things aren't as they used to be. How could they be, really? I know you're being pulled in so many directions. I can see it in your eyes. It's tearing you apart from the inside. Believe me, I know how much you respect Hijikata san and the rest of the Shinsengumi men. No one thinks that you abandoned them, nor do you deserve to feel guilty for not being there. My attempt to comfort Iba may have sounded hollow, given that I had a very thin understanding of the conflicts plaguing his anxious mind. I couldn't bear to watch him sink into the depths of his own disappointment, and without at least trying, there's no telling what he might have done. Eva curled his lips into a bashful smile, but it was brief as he continued puckering his lips in thought. If only I could reach inside of him, shake him out of this forlorn stupor, so that I wouldn't have to feel so helpless. It was it was selfish, but what could be done? <laughs> <laughs> 